A huge snake has been spotted at a popular New Jersey lake, and it's making people awfully nervous. He turned to me and said, there's a snake in the water. Someone else has died at the Eagle's Nest sinkhole. The deep hole is popular with divers. Now, this is video from earlier in the year. Back in October, two divers died at Eagle's Nest. Like many sports, very dangerous, and if you make one mistake, it can have very uh, tragic consequences. Something very strange is going on here. I've never seen anything like this at Bubblegum Pink Lake. The lake looks toxic. Beneath the tranquil surface of Earth's waters lurk secrets so dark they're almost mythical. From infested lakes, heart-stopping waters, and even deceptive depths, nature has got the most menacing wonders. So get ready for a cursed adventure of our water bodies. Anacondas. This one is not a swimming hotspot. It is the Amazon Basin. It's like the snake capital, especially when it comes to those giant anacondas. But listen up. If you're even thinking about taking a dip in those waters, you better have a serious reality check because those anacondas are no joke. They're huge, they're strong, and they're definitely not looking to make friends. And you know what else makes it even creepier? Is this anaconda breeding ball in which several males have wrapped themselves around the frisky female into a big giant conda ball. And trust me, you do not want to find yourself face to face with one. Stick to solid ground and maybe just admire those serpents from your mobile screens. Hundreds of alligators. If you've never been to Wetland, Georgia, let me tell you, it's quite the adventure out there. Some visitors recorded a bustling gator party going in the river, and it's not one you want to join. Seriously, those gators are like the unofficial hosts of the swamp, and they're not exactly the friendliest bunch. They're everywhere, and they're not shy about showing off their territorial side. You don't want to invade their personal space, and they've got quite the temper. So, if you're planning a visit to the park, admire them from afar. Snap a pic if you dare but don't get too cozy. Trust me, it's better to play it safe than end up as a gator snack. Sea snakes. Let me tell you about the slippery sea snakes that roam the waters of the Indian and Pacific oceans, like stealthy ninjas lurking beneath the waves. While out for a swim in these waters, if you spot one of these serpentine creatures gliding through the water, don't be fooled by their seemingly laid-back demeanor. These sea snakes pack a venomous punch that could leave you feeling mighty unwell. These reptiles aren't just dangerous, they're also downright impressive. With bodies flattened like blades and tails shaped like paddles, they're built for speed and darting through the water with ease. So if you ever find yourself in the company of a sea snake, remember, keep your distance from them. It's wiser to stay away from these underwater assassins. Piranha Lake. Let's have a look at the teeth. We can see just how powerful those jaws are. They are incredible, aren't they? The Amazon basin might look kind of murky and creepy, but that's not even the worst part. You see, this place is infested with piranhas and barracudas. And let me tell you, these are not your friendly neighborhood fish. They're straight up vicious and crossing paths with them while swimming? Well, let's just say it's not gonna end well for you. But wait, it gets even crazier. There's this other fish called the Kandiru lurking in these waters. Rumor has it that if it catches you, it'll swim right up your you-know-where. Well, let's just say it's not a pretty picture. So steer clear of Piranha Lake unless you're seeking a watery grave. Manatees infested water. Are you excited about manatees? Super excited about the manatees. Have you ever visited Blue Spring State Park in Volusia County? It's like manatee paradise in there. The St. John's River around that area is infested with manatees. And I mean, that in the best way possible? They're all over the place. During the winter, these guys swim to Blue Spring State Park because the water's all warm and cozy. A perfect spot for the manatees for those cool winter days. With crystal clear water and heaps of yummy vegetation for them to chow down on. But beware, they react like crazy when they feel threatened. So here's my advice. It is better to enjoy the show from a safe distance. Crocs Lake. Buaya, no, 
deep in the heart of Indonesia, there's this lake that is home to a gang of crocs. And not just any crocs, we're talking massive toothy crocs that'll give you the shivers. And if you're even considering a swim, think again. Those crocs mean business, and they're not exactly known for their hospitality. It's like their private resort, and they're not keen on sharing. But if you're feeling daring and you want to see it for yourself, just keep your distance. Those crocs might seem fascinating from afar, but you don't want to get too cozy. It's all fun and games until someone eats lunch. Hippo family. Let me spin you a yarn about a place where you don't want to go for a swim. The infamous Hippo Lake. It looks like a serene lake, but lurking on the surface are some of nature's most formidable creatures, hippos. Now, these aren't your cuddly zoo hippos. These are wild and untamed beasts with jaws that could crush a coconut and they are super aggressive. Encountering them is like playing a game of chance with Davy Jones himself. And according to facts, about 500 people find themselves on the wrong end of a hippo encounter every year. So if you know what's good for you, steer clear of the water. Jellyfish Lake. We've had enough of the creepy lakes. Let's dive into something mesmerizing a lake full of jellyfish. It's a hidden gem nestled on Il Malk Island in Palau. Unlike any other body of water, this saltwater lake boasts a unique ecosystem that will leave you spellbound. Once linked to the ocean, the lake now stands in splendid isolation, teeming with a species of jellyfish found exclusively within its waters. The golden jellyfish. With no natural predators to hinder their numbers, the jellyfish flourish, enveloping the lake in a dreamy haze. Despite their stingers, fear not, for these gentle giants pose no threat to human swimmers. So, it's perfectly safe to plan a trip to this jelly paradise. And it's not just the habitats of water that make it terrifying. Sometimes water itself can hold such qualities that will take no time to make you a character from the past. Lake Hillier. Something very strange is going on here. The lake looks toxic. This lake might be the next influencer's paradise. It is located on the coast of Middle Island. This two, zero, zero, zero foot long lake stands out with its vividly pink waters, almost too perfect to be real. But believe me, it's as authentic as it gets. So what gives it this mesmerizing hue? Well, it's all thanks to a special mix of red colored bacteria and algae. That is from microorganisms. Bacteria and algae can live in some of the most inhospitable places on earth. Armed with pigments called carotenoids that thrive in salty environments. Produces a red pigment that is called a carotenoid. And while the water may look like a delicious strawberry milkshake, it's best enjoyed with just the eyes. Ingesting large quantities might not end well. So to all the influencers out there eyeing Lake Hillier for their next photo shoot, remember, it's a feast for the eyes, not the stomach. Lake Natron. In Tanzania, there lies a body of water that defies imagination. Lake Natron, it's the stuff of legends, a lake that petrifies its visitors, turning them into eerie statues. And this isn't a fairy tale, it's as real as it gets. Here, the scorching heat evaporates most of the water, leaving behind salt and minerals. This toxic cocktail creates a deadly trap for unsuspecting birds, coating them in salt crystals and trapping them in a macabre of calcification. And let me tell you, Lake's pH levels rival, that of industrial bleach, taking a dip in its waters is like swimming through a cauldron of acid. Trust me, you don't want to mess with Lake Natron. Bermuda Triangle. How can we talk about cursed waters without mentioning the Bermuda Triangle? So buckle up to explore this super mysterious area in the Atlantic Ocean. It's positioned near Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico, and is even nicknamed the Devil's Triangle. And it has earned that title. Tons of ships and planes have gone missing in the Bermuda Triangle over the years, and nobody knows exactly why. Some say it's aliens or a giant monster under the surface. Others blame it on freaky weather. There are even tales of time warps. But most scientists believe it's just a bunch of spooky coincidences and rough seas. What are your thoughts on it? Share in the comment section. Prismatic Spring. This is the mesmerizing yet fatal world of the Prismatic Springs, where beauty meets danger in Yellowstone Park. 
It is a colossal natural hot spring spanning a whopping 370 feet in diameter, adorned with vibrant concentric circles of blues, greens, yellows, and oranges. It's like stepping into a surreal painting, right? But don't be fooled by its beauty, because beneath those shades is scorching geothermal water capable of reaching a blistering 189 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to cause serious burns. In 2016, a mishap occurred when a tourist fell into the lake and never came back. Says 23-year-old Colin Scott and his sister Sable hiked a long way off the trail near Pork Chop Geyser before he slipped and fell into a hot spring. So when it comes to hot tubs, sometimes it's best to stick to the conventional kind. Rio Tinto Lake. Rio Tinto Lake, Spain. A place which is redesigned by US pesky humans. Yep, we've managed to turn this once pristine river into a crimson-colored spectacle, earning it the nickname Red River. It's like something out of a fantasy novel, except instead of dragons, we've got pollution. Sounds like a cursed beauty. Despite its captivating appearance, getting anywhere near it is a big no-no. Why? Well, it's a toxic soup filled with heavy metals and chemicals from nearby mining activities. And get this, it's so acidic that legend says that it would dissolve anything in it. Yikes! Thankfully, no one's been brave enough to put that theory to the test. So let's just admire this red marvel from a safe distance. Red marvel from a safe distance. Acid Lake. This is liquid sulfur coming out the fumes from the vent. Igen Lake, or as I like to call it, Nature's chemistry lab from hell is located in the heart of Indonesia. Kawa Ijen Crater boasts a diameter of two kilometers and a jaw-dropping depth of 170 meters. That's like diving into the abyss. But beware, what lurks within is not your typical scenic lake. Nope, it's a fiery pit of sulfuric madness. That happened? Imagine fumaroles belching out sulfur fumes that'll sting your throat like nobody's business. And get this, the liquid sulfur streams like some twisted hot spring and after cooling to a chilly 300 degrees Fahrenheit, it solidifies into a sea of yellow. With a pH of 0.5, this lake's acidity could dissolve anything in it. And when I said anything, I meant it. Berkeley Pit. If the pit wasn't halfway filled with toxic dilute acid, it kills any bird. The Berkeley Pit in Butte City, Montana is a giant pit that's totally out of a sci-fi movie. But sadly, it's real. It is a man-made lake with a blood red hue, and it's enough to scare even a grown man. Seriously, it's like something out of a nightmare. And the water isn't just creepy, it's downright dangerous. Filled to the brim with heavy metals like cadmium, arsenic, zinc, lead, and copper, this ain't your average swimming hole. Nope, it's a toxic brew that'll make you think twice about even dipping your toe in. Back in the day, this place was a copper mine. That's why it has such a ghastly color. So take my advice and steer clear of this eerie pit because it's not worth the risk. In 2016, thousands of geese died in one night after a snowstorm forced them down. Eagle's Nest. We know someone else has died at the Eagle's Nest sinkhole. Back in October, two divers died at Eagle's Nest. Nestled along the Florida coast, Eagle's Nest may seem like a hidden oasis, but beneath its serene surface lies a tangled web of danger. It has crystal clear waters one moment and a pitch black abyss the other. Thanks to nature's paintbrush of tannins from surrounding plants, once you plunge in, it's like entering a whole new world, a world of underwater caves and tunnels stretching over a mile in darkness. Sounds like a nightmare to me, but for some, it's an adrenaline-fueled thrill. But for others, it's a no way home thing. Since 1981, at least 13 souls have met their fate. So heed the warning signs and steer clear of the eagle's nest unless you've got nerves of steel, which let's face it, most of us don't. Strucker Geyser. Located beside the serene Vita River, this seemingly harmless pool harbors a lethal secret. Every 10 minutes, it unleashes a spectacle of boiling water and steam, shooting skyward with the force of a natural slingshot ride. But here's the kicker. This ain't your average geyser. With water temperatures soaring to a scorching 464 degrees Fahrenheit and jets reaching heights of 130 feet, diving in would be a fatal folly. Seriously, 
It's like choosing between boiling alive or plummeting to your demise from a 10-story building. Us. So, my adventurous friends, when it comes to the Strocker geyser, I'll let you decide, stay safe or take a leap. But don't say I didn't warn you. Radioactive Lake. Even a mere hour on its edge could spell your demise. The lake holds the grim title of being the most radioactive place on Earth. A normal reading was 0.02, and down there it passed 1.0. Packing a radiation punch over 2.5 times greater than that of Chernobyl. This lake isn't your average body of water. It's a crater born from a Soviet nuclear blast, and they used to dump nuclear waste here. And now it's filled with mortal radioactive water. Back in the 1980s, the authorities finally decided to end its reign of terror by filling it in with concrete. But the damage was already done. A drought in 1966 had allowed its toxic dust to contaminate over 40,000 unlucky souls. Stay clear, my friends. For this is a place where danger lurks at every ripple. Samisan Hole Greetings to the heart-stopping depths of the Samisan Hole in the Gulf of Thailand. With its astonishing drop of 280 feet, this underwater abyss holds the title of the deepest diving site in the region. But beware, for beneath its tranquil surface lies a world of danger. Not only is the Samisan Hole a bustling shipping zone for giant oil tankers, but its fierce currents add an extra layer of peril for brave divers. And if that doesn't send shivers down your spine, consider this. <laughs> Within its murky waters are creepy barracudas, ready to strike at any moment. With visibility near zero, Spotting these predators is like finding a needle in a haystack. Devil's Kettle. There's still no real confirmation as to where the water goes once it goes in. In Minnesota, there lies this majestic waterfall cascading down a rocky ledge, only to split into two halves. One side continues its merry journey downstream, while the other mysteriously vanishes into a gaping pothole known as Devil's Kettle. Water in the left fork of the river appears to just vanish into rock. But here's the best part. Nobody knows where that disappearing water ends up. They've tried everything from tossing in ping pong balls to hiring Sherlock Holmes himself. But the answer remains as elusive as Bigfoot on a foggy night. Scientists have thrown around theories like underground channels and secret passages, but it's all just guesswork. So if you're ever in the neighborhood, don't forget to pay a visit to Devil's Kettle and try your luck at cracking the case of the vanishing waterfall. The Hoyo Negro, Black Hole Lake. Have you ever stumbled upon the mind-bending wonderland known as Hoyo Negro? Tucked somewhere near the vibrant shores of Tulum, Mexico, this place is straight out of a sci-fi flick. It's called a black hole lake because it's this deep underwater cave system where darkness reigns supreme. And get this, it's not your run-of-the-mill cave. It's a prehistoric time capsule. It's a time capsule that is absolutely unequal. Think bones of ancient creatures, even ancient human remains dating back millennia. We're talking like 10,000 years of history tucked away down there. If you're itching for an adventure in Mexico, dive into the depths of Hoyo Negro. Trust me, it's a journey to another dimension, quite literally. Lost Lake. The Lost Lake in Oregon, US, has earned its unique name because here, water plays the ultimate game of hide and seek. It's a serene lake located in the heart of Oregon. Its shimmering surface reflects the surrounding beauty like a mirror. During the summer months, this lake pulls off a disappearing act, transforming into nothing but a lush meadow. At first, it might seem like the whole thing just evaporates, but that would take some serious heat. The researchers have found two sneaky lava tubes lurking beneath the surface, acting like nature's own giant drain pipes. Find the hole that it drains into. And when the nearby streams run dry in the heat, these tubes slurp up every last drop of water until the rains return to replenish the lake once more. Boiling Lake Dominica. Visiting this lake is the perfect depiction of walking the line between thrill and tragedy. Welcome to the boiling lake in Dominica. And this isn't your average hot spring. This lake is so hot that it can cook your morning eggs in a heartbeat. Right now we're looking at some eggs that are boiling in the geothermal hot springs. Yep, it's that intense. You see, this lake isn't just hot. 
It's boiling hot, like a kettle on the stove. So while some might mistake it for a cozy soak, the reality is far from relaxing. Diving in here is like asking for a crustacean makeover. So remember, dip at your own risk, or should I say, risk becoming seafood. Foamy stream. Industrial waste पाया जा रहा है, गंदगी, pollutants, ammonia पाया जा रहा है कि उसकी वजह से झाग उत्पन्न हो रही है। Let's discuss the foam river. I mean Yamuna River. India's Yamuna River is covered in clouds of toxic foam, as if it decided to sprout a bubble bath. But the culprit behind this unique appearance was high levels of phosphates, surfactants, and other chemicals in the water. Amidst this chaos, authorities in New Delhi were freaking out about the city's air quality, and Hindu devotees weighed into the foamy mess to celebrate Chath Puja, a regional festival. It was like a dystopian world, except it was real life. Despite the chemical-coated waters, worshippers kept their cool, offering prayers in the frothy water. It was a bizarre mix of tradition and environmental crisis. Polluted River Today, we take you to the world's most polluted river, but it's become a toxic river of waste. Chitara River was once a tropical paradise in the 70s, yet now it has transformed into a grim cocktail of household waste, human excrement, and unfortunate deceased critters. It's all household rubbish. This is stuff that people have thrown in. Blame it on the hundreds of textile factories lining the riverbanks while happily dumping untreated industrial chemicals into the water, like there's no tomorrow. Indonesia, known for its biodiversity, is sadly witnessing the Chitara River turn into a dumpster dive, with trash becoming the catch of the day for some unlucky fish. And the consequences? Well, let's just say skin diseases and diarrhea are just the tip of the iceberg. But fear not, improvement plans are on the horizon, and locals are rallying to reclaim their river before it's too late. We'll hopefully see it restore its real beauty. Shark water. There is a local saying in Africa, in shark waters, tread with care and it perfectly fits at the waters off Gansby, South Africa. This place is like the VIP lounge for great white sharks, drawing in tourists and nature enthusiasts from far and wide. But these waters are no joke. They're teeming with those majestic yet formidable creatures, the great white sharks, the uncrowned kings of the sea. You can't blame them, really. They're just doing what they do best, ruling the waves. But here's the thing, with great beauty comes great danger. Every year, hundreds of adventures are lost to the jaws of these powerful predators. So if you ever find yourself swimming in these shark-infested waters, remember, caution is your best mate. Frying Pan Lake Next on the list is the Frying Pan Lake in New Zealand, a name that doesn't exactly scream swimming spot. <sighs> Tucked away in the Waimoku Volcanic Rift Valley, this heated lake maintains temperatures between 113 and 131 degrees Fahrenheit, making it more like a giant hot tub than a refreshing dip. Frying Pan Lake isn't your ordinary body of water. It's actually an echo crater, spanning a whopping 400,000 square feet, with depths reaching 18 feet and sometimes plunging to 60 feet. Despite its tempting warmth, jumping in would be a big mistake. Thanks to the presence of H2S, hydrogen sulfide, and CO2 emissions. So, when it comes to Frying Pan Lake, it's best to admire from afar and leave the swimming to the brave, or foolish in this case. Blue Lagoon, UK. They say, not all that glitters is gold, and that rings true for the Blue Lagoon. This gem of a spot may impress you with its sparkling waters and picture-perfect scenery, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Beneath its enchanting surface, this beauty has a dark side an alarmingly high alkaline pH level of 11.3. To put that in perspective, it's even more alkaline than bleach. Soaking in these waters could lead to a laundry list of woes, from stomach aches to pesky infections. Even the water stays chilly, no matter how scorching the sun gets. So while it might be tempting to snap a selfie by this, it's best to admire it from afar. Trust me, your skin will thank you. El Chichon Lake. At first glance, it's easy to be captivated by the emerald hues shimmering like liquid gems. But hold your selfie sticks. This isn't your typical Instagram-worthy spot. Nope, 
this is a hotspot of volcanic activity, and diving in for that perfect shot could spell disaster. It's a crater some 420 feet deep, filled with water channeled from superheated springs below. And that's not it. Dissolving within those waters are fatal volcanic gases, turning the lake into a bubbling cauldron of acidity. With a pH level the same as battery acid, it's a recipe for disaster. So if you're thinking of using this as your next fan spot, think again. Unless hospital selfies are your thing. Unless hospital selfies are your thing. Hanakapiai Beach. Hanakapiai Beach is the perfect meaning of the word deception. With its azure waters, golden sands, and picture-perfect scenery, it's easy to see why this beach draws visitors like a magnet. But don't be fooled by its idyllic appearance. Hanakapiai is notorious for its merciless currents, claiming the lives of nearly 100 people who've been swept out to sea over the years. Unlike other beaches on Kauai, Hanakapiai lacks a barrier reef, allowing powerful ocean currents to pass onto the shore unchecked. And with no lifeguards on duty, those who are caught in the currents are left to fend for themselves. So remember, appearances can be deceiving, and it's better to play it safe than sorry. Lake Kandy, Dead Lake. Guys, this is crying the lake. Translated from Kazakh, kind means Timmy. This is Lake Kandy in Kazakhstan, also known as the Dead Lake. Just like the name says it all, this isn't your typical summer getaway spot. Stretching over 1,300 feet near Almaty, it's shrouded in mystery and a touch of darkness. This is a place where many tourists and unfortunate souls met their end in its depths. But it's not just the chilling stories that give it its reputation. The lake's cobalt blue waters, sustained by limestone and algae, seem frozen in time, incapable of supporting life. Even in the hottest weather, it remains cold defying nature's rules. And if that's not eerie enough, imagine a submerged forest beneath, its ghostly trees reaching up like lost souls from the depths. Dead Lake indeed lives up to its haunting name. Lac de Gafsa, Mystery Lake. Here is a miracle lake for you. In 2014, on a scorching hot day, suddenly a vast lake appeared out of nowhere, like a mirage coming to life. It all started when a Tunisian local man stumbled upon this surreal sight while returning from a trip up north. Soon hordes of curious onlookers flocked to witness this marvel firsthand. While some dared to dip their toes into the turquoise waters, warnings spread like wildfire about potential contamination from carcinogenic chemicals and radioactive phosphate beneath the surface. As algae swiftly tainted the once clear waters that made it clear that this unexpected lake harbored more dangers than delights, scientists speculate seismic activity is the culprit behind this enigmatic phenomenon. So be careful when exploring it. Sometimes even miracles can carry a curse. Jacob's Well. Here's a diving spot that'll give you goosebumps for sure. The Jacob's Well. It is a gaping hole in the ground, 12 feet wide, beckoning you to take the plunge. Seems like the perfect spot for a cannonball, right? Well, think again. Beneath the surface lies a labyrinth of underwater caves stretching over 4,500 feet. It's a diver's dream and nightmare. Many have dared to explore its depths, but not all have returned. More than a dozen brave souls have never come back from these murky waters to eternally stay in the darkness below. Diego Adam's chilling close call was one of the incidents of this place who tried to break the record but lost one of his flippers. <laughs> Luckily, he survived by taking quick actions. I'm pretty sure it was enough to make your heart race. Horseshoe Lake. Positioned between sandy beaches, hiking trails, and picnic areas, this lake seems like the perfect spot for a weekend getaway. But hold on, because there's more to this picture. Surrounding the lake, 
There are around 100 acres of snagged trees, which is a haunting reminder of the dark side lurking beneath the surface. In 1989 and 1990, earthquakes unleashed carbon dioxide from beneath the Earth's crust, taking away all life in its path. Even today, Horseshoe Lake remains a ticking time bomb with toxic gas levels fluctuating unpredictably. It's like stepping into a horror film set amidst the tranquil woods. So if you're planning a visit, better heed the warning signs. Now it's time for an open discussion. I've got a place they call Snake Island. Now, if you're thinking of going to this island, you better be prepared because you'll be in the company of thousands of super snakes slithering around. I'm talking about the Golden Lancehead Viper a species found only on Snake Island. These creatures are no joke. You see, way back when this island got cut off from the mainland, it gave rise to a whole new breed of snakes. With no predators to bother them, they thrived and evolved into top-notch predators themselves. And their venom? It's three to five times stronger than anything you'd find on the mainland. So, watch your steps. Snake Island may look like paradise, but it's a paradise with fangs.